Okay, just, cool, cool. All right, so yeah, I mean, well, we can start. I mean, uh, we can go from wherever you want. Um, look, I'll just do a quick intro for my fans and uh, for my audience, and uh, then I'll give you the floor. Um, guys, how's it going? Uh, today we have a very special episode. Um, well, all special. All episodes are special, but this is very special. We got uh, Kevin Hernandez here from uh, Hudson County, New Jersey. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, how, how far away can we get? Uh, but um, he actually hit me up on Instagram earlier today. Um, he said, hey, I watch your content. You're a cool guy. Um, we started chatting a little bit. He told me what he was all about. And uh, I said, and he goes, hey, do you, do you mind if we do a live stream? We do some sort of, a, you know, a conversation online. I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm always up for all kinds of new stuff. So, uh, yeah, you know, without further ado, I'm going to shut up for a minute. I'm going to give the floor to Kevin real quick. And we're going to go from there and um, have him teach us more about him together. So I'm going to sit back and uh, listen. You know, while we, uh, you know, we learn about Absolutely. Kevin. Thank you. Thank you for having me on, Jose. So, yeah, I'm Kevin Hernandez. Like he said, I'm from a place called, uh, now a city in Hudson County called Union City. Um, that's why, hence the shirt. I'm wearing the Union City shirt here. I don't know if you can see. But um, they call it, they call us uh, Little Havana uh, because it's, it's really, it has a big Latino uh, population. But back in the 80s and the 90s, uh, a lot of Cuban uh, Cubans went to uh, Union City, New Jersey. So they fled to not just Florida, they also went to New Jersey, specifically Union City. So that's a fun fact for you guys. Um, but yeah, I, I hit up Jose through Instagram because uh, a lot of people from our generation, they, they like to hear content like that, you know? I think before, you know, other generations, they're not very open-minded to, you know, what you talk about on your podcast. And I and I really like what you talk about through Spotify. So, oh, cool, cool. So, so is that how you found me? Like on uh, through the on, podcast? On Spotify. Oh, yes. Look at that! Wow. See, I told you guys, people listen to the podcast. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Oh, wow, I had no idea. That's, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, I mean, I've been actually talking about a lot of the things that I talk about on my channel for man, I late late 2017. And um, I just started doing the podcast recently, um, just basically because I figured it out. You know, I've been wanting to do it for a while, but it's just the same content I put on YouTube and I put it on, the, you know, in podcast form. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, you've heard about a lot of the things that I talk about. And, uh, you know, that's why, you know, it was a little intriguing to me because when you, you know, told me, hey, I want to talk to you, you know, about stuff, about politics. I'm like, I was thinking to myself, are you sure you want to talk to me? Because again, you know, tell them what you're about. Because again, you know, yeah, my audience is absolutely. very uh, curious so, as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm running for office here in Hudson County. So when I told, you know, so when we were in contact, you know, you said, hey, I want to talk to you, have a political discussion on here. And so, I, you know, normally I would like, you know, just do a little research on who it is. And then, but when I saw your Instagram page and I saw that you're a politi political candidate running for office, I was like, huh, <laughs> you want to talk to me? So, but yeah. anyways, yeah, go ahead. I mean, what do you want to yeah, talk so, about? <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, I watch shows like Dollar Vigilante. Um, I even watch Jimmy Dore's show. Good podcast, you know, because yeah, yeah. I like to think outside the box. You know, I think a lot of political uh, people, we were talking about this. They they, they don't have, um, not bes besides their, their, their viewpoints, they, they usually don't come from working class backgrounds. You know, they didn't. Or at the moment, they're not doing that. Or, you know, they ended up doing really good in life, and then they ran. Um, but no, not me. I'm actually a security guard right now. I'm in uh, Edgewater there. Um, but what inspired me to run was basically the fact that my county is very corrupt. It's the most corrupt county in New Jersey. If you search us up, it's where all the big uh, mafia bosses originated from in Hudson County. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm Cuban from Miami, as you said, you know, Union City, Cubans, I mean, I know all about Union City, and so, yeah, you know what I mean, it all makes sense, <laughs> but go ahead, it's all 100. Yeah, it's where, um, you know, if you watch The Irishman, uh, one of, a lot of mafia bosses came in uh, Hudson County, they were smuggling everything, you name it, uh, from, all the way from back from the pro Prohibition to even uh, uh, most recently, um, you know, Hudson County has a big corruption problem, Obviously not with the mafia anymore, but it definitely has to do with a lot of the politicians. How about, how about um, this? It's a, it's a different form of mafia. It's the same mafia. It's just a little yeah, a bigger, yeah. more advanced version, the corporate exactly. version. Exactly. And, you know, I live in a city where they call our mayor the boss, the Hudson County boss. I'm serious. They call him the boss. Um, so, you know, it's, I'm in a, I, I live in a very unique situation where it's like um, 
you know, affordable housing doesn't exist. And, uh, and now with this whole COVID-19 uh, outbreak, you know, pandemic, businesses are going bankrupt, you know? It's, it's a shame that the government is giving people all oh, this incentive. It's a loan. Basically, what people, these businesses are getting is a loan. They're not getting it for free. These businesses are going to go bankrupt. The loans are not free. It's usually, it's a form of Wall Street capitalizing on the loss of Americans. Yeah, exactly. And at the same time where corporations, you know, that should know better and, um, you know, should be liquidated in a time like this for not, you know, having enough money to survive, they're actually getting bailed out, meaning getting free money. While, you know, a lot of businesses, small businesses, you know, they're getting these uh, loans that they have to pay back because, look, there's a lot of loopholes, you know, for you to not to have to pay them back. But again, if you're like a, a tax paying, you know, outstanding American citizen that wants to do everything right, you want to pay back this loan for your country for, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, that's the sad part of where we're at right now that, you know, it continue, continuously over and over and over again, the person that is trying to do the right thing keeps getting screwed. And by the way, I'm trying to watch my language here because <laughs> for your audience and stuff. But again, the more you try to do the right thing, the more you're trying to be an, uh, a good citizen, a good person, uh, you actually get screwed more by the system. And then, you know, when you start doing things that are more on the corrupt side and you start doing things more on the, on the shady side of things, you actually get rewarded by government. And that's the thing because, you know, that's a sad part because again, you know, um, most people, when you tell like an outstanding citizen, a regular citizen, hey, look, all you got to do in order not to pay taxes is this, this, and that. And it's legal. It's 100% legal. The person doesn't even want to do it because they want to do the right thing for the community, for the people, for, and then of course, you know, someone that's already, you know, with uh, mal intentions, you know, uh, of course, they're not only going to use that loophole, they're going to use this loophole and they're going to, and in fact, you know, they're going to get their buddy in government to see if they can get another loophole. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just, it's so sad, you know, like, uh, you know, man, look, today, one of the things I was actually doing um, before I did this, you know, we're doing this meeting, I was in, in Centro, you know, just, uh, just you know, running oh, yeah. some errands. And um, one of the things in that Mercado. I wanted to go do, what was that? In Mercado. And in Mercado and all that stuff, yeah. And one of the things I went to go do was um, go buy some silver. You know, one thing that I'd like to talk about, you know what I mean, on my channel, on my whatever. So I went to go buy some silver. And, you know, I just went to the bank, you know, um, bought the silver, you know, on my way out. Um, as I was leaving, um, my wife sends me a message, you know, just a, you know, a text message, whatever. And she is like some pictures of right there in its central, but in another part of its central, um, in the part where all the, um, all the pawn shops are. And um, the lines were blocks, you know, blocks deep of people at the pawn shop. And she was just saying, like, look how lucky we are that we are here buying things like gold and silver while these individuals out there are selling you know, their gold, silver, or whatever they have a value in order to put food on the table. You And, and again, yeah. this is not unique. Be, you know, this is not like a thing that is happening just here. It's happening all across the country in one form or another. And uh, in the U.S., you know, yeah, there's some, there's bailouts and all this other stuff, but that's just going to lead to more corruption and more, you know what I mean? Like, you already know, yeah. because especially where you come from, where right now, how many business people within your community you know what I mean? That are, you know what I mean? To do the taxes, you know, the other way. Okay. How many people are like licking their chops? You know what I mean? And all, all these loans, all this, uh, you know, all this funny money, all this stuff that's going to be coming into the system. And they're going to now get more power while the small business, the small individual, the small whatever, they're going to lose, you know, even, you know, the little that they had, they're going to lose even more of it. And, yeah. and I mean, it's just like a vicious cycle. And, Again, you know what I mean? Even the small business can't even hire employees going forward because how can they pay them? How can they compete with the fucking unemployment? You know what I mean? Just Exactly. Sorry, and sorry. Again, I, -bomb yeah, there. <laughs> I actually have a running mate for Congress. His name is Hector Osegueda. Um, uh, his parents are Dominican and Honduran. And he actually, he's an, he's an anti-money laundering lawyer specialist. Um He's, he's, this is going to be like big because usually congressmen, Congress people, when they run, they, they usually have a, a, a law degree or some political uh, science backing or whatever. But uh, what makes him different is he's actually specializing in anti-money money laundering uh, corruption. So, you know, the county is very scared. New Jersey is like, holy cow, where the hell does this guy come from? Like, yeah. he's, and he's an anti-money laundering specialist. He has a big plan uh, to wash it off. 
you know, uh, you know, AOC, she's a great, as great as a congresswoman as she is. I think she doesn't have the special to, specialty expertise that Hector Oseguera has um, because this guy, he knows firsthand how to deal with this. He actually has a whole tax plan. He, he's trying to close loopholes. He has a plan to raise, after I, I read through his poll plan, over two trillion, two, two to five trillion dollars in a quest of only 10 years. Uh, through closing all the, you know, like um, the loopholes, yeah, corporations, they sent it to offshore uh, um, the, the Cayman Islands, right? So real quick, so is this the guy that's running against AOC in her district? or uh, No, no, he's oh, running okay, against okay. Abio Series, Abio okay. Series. Yes. So, well, look, man, right now, um, just to tell you right off the bat, look, the biggest money launderer of all time is the U.S. government and the, the Central Federal Reserve. Bank. You know what I mean? And I'm sure that he knows that, especially if he's, uh, yes. if what he's doing. Right. So uh, how, I mean, do you think it's going to go well? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, look, I hope oh. everything that he, he has a great election and he wins and the whole thing, but right. man, you get what I'm saying? He's going up against the beast and uh, you already know, I mean, you're going to, well, you're young and you're trying right now, but you're going to find out. Um, that's why I wanted to even talk to you again, because if you were older, I probably wouldn't be interested, man. You know, older politician, you're young. You're still new at this. I, I, I'm looking at the mirror. You know, I, I wanted to do all this stuff. I did some of this stuff. But, you know, there's a reason why I do what I do now. Because, I, you know, I, I know what the beast is. And, uh, you know, we want to go up against the beast. And we think that, you know, we can make a huge difference. And probably in our small communities, we can make a big difference. But, man, you, you already know it's one against, you know, look, look, I mean, look at yeah. all, look, every single politician in pretty much every place you're at is corrupt and it's because again unfortunately that's how the system works it's not set up for how you want it to work you know how most people want it to work which is you know the people from the community are the ones that run the community you know unfortunately right now what's happening is that a lot of politicians no matter where you are they're career politicians and they're in it just for what for corruption for money to see how they can uh, you know um you know, get money out of the system. So, you know, right now, you know, your friend uh, that, you know, you know, he's running for, for Congress, right? Is that what you said? You know, yes. he can, yeah, he himself, uh, yeah, man, he's going to, he's going up against the beast uh, where he's basically telling the beast, hey, um, I'm running on the platform of everything that, you know, that you, you know, up against everything that you guys are for. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's going to have a lot of the people behind them. But, you know, again, you know, I, I, I'm just skeptical, man, you know, because again, I, I've been uh, through the ringer before and I know how the system works. I mean, look at what just happened right now. Look, you know where I fall a, a little bit, you know what I mean? I'm kind of like in the middle, you know what I mean? I don't have any affiliation with anything, but look at what happened with fucking Bernie. Look, man, you know I mean? like they're giving it to Biden, you know, this fucking guy. I mean, yeah. bro, my grandma can't even put two words together, the poor old soul, you know, you know what I mean? Like on her last days, but it's like, fuck, bro, you know, she has more brain cells than this Biden guy. And yet, you know, that's who won the nomination. That's who's going to fucking... Do it. All of a sudden, what happened to all these Bernie bros? What happened to all that Bernie... Uh, you feel me? Hey, come on, man. Yeah. This is all... Look, man. One, look, I know I'm talking a lot, but look, one of the things that was happening uh, with, with, with the whole Trump thing, man. Look, right now, if, they, if it would be a leftist president, if there would be like a Obama or a Hillary or any leftist president, you know, in the last several years, there's no way in hell. There's no way in hell that the people... You know, I'm talking about the, 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 the people that are the Trump supporters would have allowed any of this, all right? The people with their guns and their, you know, craziness would have already been out on the street protesting shit a long ass fucking time ago, you know, let alone, you know, coronavirus. Yeah. Okay, but now look at everything that's happening right now where all of a sudden government, look, I don't know where you stand on this, but I'm going to tell you where I stand on what's going on now. Yeah. Right now with what's going on with the, with the, you know, this whole, um, you know, government closure of the, the you know, the, of everything. Um, right now, all the people that are so Trump supporters, they would typically be the kind of people that would not allow any of this. You know what I mean? Like, how dare you, um, you know, tell us to stay home? How dare you, you know, um, stomp on our constitutional rights? How dare you, dare you, blah, 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 blah. But now all of a sudden, you know, you're seeing them all supporting the president and they are now all of a sudden like just standing ground. They're like, hey, our president wants us to stay home, so we're going to stay home. We're not going to, you know, fight the government on this. And all of a sudden, all these people that were anti-socialism, look how quickly they're very socialist. Look how quickly they're taking that government check. Look how quickly they're more than happy. And so it's like, what the fuck is going on? And it's like, 
I'm going to tell you what's going on is that people are very easily manipulated, unfortunately. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of propaganda out there, and you know this, um, and that's like what affects pretty much every community, even my own community, where I got to be wearing this fucking mask. I got to be doing all this crazy shit just because people think that they're going to fucking die because someone coughs on them. It's like, bro, what happened, bro? The people just lose common sense all of a sudden. Anyways, I'm sorry, bro. I'm just I'm going up no, on right there. But you know, yeah, man, you know, go on. I mean, add yeah, to, it's add like to you brought you brought up good points. You know, like the the mask, like um, you were saying, this is going to be like 1984 all over again. Um, you know, it's like the book predicted something like this would happen, and look, it's happening right before our very eyes. Um, and it's just like. We know what this gonna, what eventually this is gonna lead to. You know, AI is on the rise right now. Um, again, my running mate, he he brought up a plan. He's gonna be looking at AI as well, because um, you know we're not gonna. We know privacy rights are gonna be violated with AI in the on the rise. We see that on by, the horizon. By the, way, by the way, that's why I talk about you know Bitcoin and I talk about you know the the you know the blockchain and I talk about all that technology as well because we are going into the future. Um, AI is a thing, you know what I mean? Uh, robots are a thing, you know, all these things are a thing, but the privacy issue, that's the biggest uh, elephant in the room that no one's talking about, but yet everybody knows it's a problem. Everybody knows, everybody. And yet, yeah. you know, no one's talking about it, but how the hell are we going to get to a future in which our privacy is actually protected? You know what I mean? Well, the only way is by, you know, no, by not giving up our rights to begin with right now because of propaganda, you know, uh, they are now scaring the public into giving up their rights and getting used to the fact that we have no rights. We have no privacy. We have none of this stuff, but it cannot be any further from the truth. And that's a, to me, that's a scary part, you know, seeing how everyone is just complying. And again, you know, we're, like, we're going back into Nazi Germany. We're going back into communist Cuba. You know, we're going back into all this shit. You know, if you, if you know, and again, just go, by going to Cuba, I've been to Cuba. And, you know, they don't have cameras. They don't got any of that technology. But, bro, you know what I mean? Say say the wrong thing and you're going to fucking see how quickly. You get what I'm saying? you got somebody, like, you know, looking over your shoulder. Hey, what are, can, can they eat it? What are you saying? Hey, blah, 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 blah. And it's the same thing right now. Like, if you're coughing, <clears throat> I already got my neighbors like, hey, what the fuck? Hey, why is Jose coughing too much? Yeah. You know? Like, we know he smokes, but, you know, I mean, why is he coughing a little, you know, well, that's he, four times. I mean, he normally, he normally coughs three times. Funny you, you bring that <laughs> New Jersey, um, not just Jersey, but New Jersey primarily. What's going on with uh, the neighbors themselves? Themselves are are being snitches of Big Brother. They're they're essentially getting paid now. Uh, you know, political figures around Washington D.C. are discussing having an incentive-based uh, system where the neighbor, you know, the neighborhood watch. You know, yep. they're gonna use a system like that where if people look out their windows and they see that there's people outside after a certain time, certain curfew, they're going to get paid just to call the police and call them whoever it is. It could be your grandma, your, your brother, your sister, a friend. If they get paid, they, they're going to want to get. Hey, look, man, I, I'm going to tell you like still right now where, where, you know, I talk to other Americans, you know, other friends of mine, you know what I mean? That are in Utah in LA and you know, all over the place, but their background is, you know, white, whatever, bro, or black or whatever. They're just, their background is not Hispanic or not, at least right. not Cuban or last night, whatever. Anyways. And um, they still, they see it. They, they understand all this, but they're still like, nah, it's okay. Now, even though they're still scared about all this stuff that we're talking about now, but they're more like, eh. but now when I talk to literally anyone from Miami with some sort of Cuban background, bro, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they're like, bro, what the fuck? We left Cuba because of this shit. You know, now it's here. You know what I mean? And there's still a lot of Cubans in Miami that are still like looking the other way, you know, yada, yada, yada. But it's like, are you fucking serious? You literally left the fucking island, okay, because of this exact same situation. And now you're here in Miami and you're permitting it. You're, you're allowing, in fact, not only are you allowing it, you're bringing it with open arms. Like, oh, yeah, that being, uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, bro, but you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's true. I mean, it's like, that's the, and, and I see it here too, bro. It's like, it, it, these are the things that drive me up the wall. And I'm sure it's driving yeah. a lot of people up the wall, man, because it's like, man, it, it, it almost makes you feel like this is, a, this is an uphill battle. As much as we want to help humanity, help our community, help everybody, the, the reality is, is that we can't, we can't really do much because people are not, people are not willing to help themselves or people are more willing to fucking dig deeper 
You know what I mean? And, and, and just like, again, like an ostrich, you know, just stick their head yeah. deeper into the sand and like just pretend it's not happening. Pretend it's going to go away. Pretend. And it's like, bro, it's not going to go away. The people like to think- you are, the, the more it's going to, the worse it's going to get and so on and so forth. And, and look, the last thing I'm going to say, I heard this the other day, but this is basically it. The people get the government they deserve. Okay. And that's why, again, that's why I'm here talking to you, bro, because again, I hope that you're one of the few out there, you know, that yeah. are really trying to make a fucking change in your community. Yes. And, and it all starts small. It really does. But again, you know, how are people going to, you know what I mean, now get that change going? Well, by electing someone like you that is most likely going to try and uh, bring that change. But again, people deserve the government that they get. They deserve. That's it. You know, yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> George Carlin actually brought that up. The famous comedian. He was a big uh, dark political commentator. Yeah, and comedian. yeah, George Carlin's a fucking legend, man. Yeah, you know? legend. Exactly. He, um, he talked about that. He said, if you're going to get, uh, if people, if you have selfish, ignorant people, you're going to get a selfish, ignorant politician. And that's how it is. And one more thing, you know, Trump, people like to say that Trump is against the system and he's fighting the wave. Well, if that was the case, he should, you know, what he should be doing if he had the, he was against the system, he should be saying, oh, um, I'm speaking to the American people here and I'm going to end the, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic uh, scare, right? Yeah, there's a lot of things you could be doing. I've actually, I talk about doing it on my channel level. a lot. And dude, again, you know, like, I, I don't want to, you know, anything, but look, man, I, straight up, I was always a Democrat, lefty, the whole fucking thing, just because, you know, how a lot of people are, you know, we stick to our party, whatever. But eventually, once I started waking up, I was like, I'm no party affiliation, but I still want to, I, I love my country. I bleed red, white, and blue, you know, blah, blah, blah. I was independent when Bernie first came out. I was like, all right, I think I like, you know, Bernie's all right. And so on and so forth. And then when Trump came out, you know, way back when, you know, I was like, well, hey, this motherfucker's saying the right thing. You know, he was the a Democrat. Now he's a right, you know, now he's a, a right, uh, whatever, on the, on the yeah. whatever. But that doesn't matter. He is just uh, trying to run and try to save the country. I would listen to things he's saying. Like, man, all right, a lot of people. You got to remember, everybody, most people are in the middle. They voted for his ass. I don't want to fucking, I don't want to hear it. They voted for him, okay? He's yeah. president, and by a landslide. So the point is, is that, you know, there's a lot of people, they're in the middle, voted for this guy because, hey, he was saying the right things. And what were the right things? A lot of the things that you and other people are saying. You know what I mean? Hey, the system is messed up. We got to, you know, we got to break it down. You know, talking about, you know, the Fed, talking about, you know, a lot of things, man. He actually brought up a lot of things, you know, about, hey, you know, what we need to do with the dollar, what we need to, you know, conspiracy theory shit. You know what I mean? And people are like, oh, wow, yeah. this guy, what? This guy? Oh, yeah. we got to vote him in. And they voted him in. And as soon as he got voted in, what did he do? Just like everybody else. You know, he bowed down to the masters and that's it. You know, yes. now he's just doing just like all of them are doing, you know, like every, pretty much like, hey, you know, you're now you're here. You got to do this, this and that. And if you don't do this, this and that, you're not going to be around. So what are you going to do? Yeah. Exactly. And that, and, yeah. And that's it. And that's basically it. And so now everything he's doing has been, you know, the opposite in, in the majority of things of what, you know, he said he was going to do. And sure, you know, there's a, he's sticking to a few of the promises, you know, the horrible ones, you know, like uh, the war yeah. the immigration and a bunch of horrible things. You know what I mean? He's sticking. Um, he is going after a few people. You know what I mean? Like, um, I don't, I don't want to say the words, but you know what I'm saying? The people yeah. that go after little kids. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on where it's like, hey, whatever. But, hey, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Out of 100%, you know, 90% of the things he's doing is horrible, terrible, the worst. And I'm not going to fuck, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that like a, like another, a democratic leader would be doing any different. Okay. Any but different. The point is, is that again, it's just business as usual right now, they want to keep them in there. So what do they do? They put it, bite it. They put in like some whatever. And, um, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. I went up on my rent. There, but... Yeah, actually I didn't really vote for Trump. I went third party in 2016. I didn't vote Democrat or Republican. I voted third party. Uh, obviously, there was no third party down the line, so I had to go either Democrat or Republican. I, I, I voted based on who had the best policies. I don't vote down the line. Um, but yeah, Trump Trump is a hypocrite. You know, he he played us all. He played he ran on him being the anti-establishment guy. But you know what makes him a, a hypocrite now, as of now, lately. You know how there's protests in Michigan, Ohio, Virginia, uh, all these these um righty states they're very big uh second amendment people very big on privacy rights you know they're, they're big on the don't threat on me those kind of people uh trump trump yeah trump is actually 
making it seem like he's with these people. Like, yeah, I'm against the lockdown with you guys. Cause you know, they're protesting the gov the governors of their states, the respective states saying, oh yeah, um, you know, they're fighting. They're, they're protesting the whole lockdown and, and Trump is making it seem like he's with these people, but he's lying to these people right, because if right. really with these people, he would call those governors and say, hey, end those lockdowns now. But he's playing the political game. He's trying that's to get right, right. supporters to back him up. But we all know what he's doing. That's he's it, man. And that's the thing. And then the, the, the sad reality is the fact that, like, you know, people are sticking to their team. You know, a lot of people on the right, you know what I mean? Even the, you know, they know that they're losing their rights. You know what I mean? They, they know that. You know, they're being, you know, told to stay home. They get that. They, and, and they are just supporting him blindly because, again, you know what I mean? He's doing the right thing. Q told him, you know, blah, blah, blah whatever bro you know what i mean like are you fucking kidding me like the whole thing it's like actions speak louder than words you know a lot of people right now look let's just talk real quick about the you know i was bringing up silver the federal reserve money all of that stuff um look man again at the end of the day people are like oh yeah you know trump you know he's going uh, up against the deep state and going up against the swamp and uh he's trying to defeat the fed you know the federal reserve and blah like no he's not doing any of that and basically right. he could do that right he could Right today, right now, within a few minutes, he can end the Fed right now. And, and, he, and it's very simple. People are like, oh, how, how can he do it? Very easy. Easily. Just say to the Fed, hey, Fed, we're not going to pay back any more of these. Uh, we're not going to pay back this anymore. In fact, this thing right here is null and void. What we're going to do now is I'm going to issue a brand new dollar. And by the way, he can do this because remember, he with the with the paper checks, he wanted his name on the paper checks. So, I mean, this is not like right. a thing. You know, it's very easy. Yeah. All right. Just tell the printer, hey, printer. Now we're going to have a, a brand new dollar, and instead of a green seal, we're going to have a blue seal, and it's going to be backed by silver or gold, whatever, and that's it. We got a new dollar. This other one is null and void. The ones that are every single dollar that is inexistent is going to be replaced by those dollars, same as the one at the banks, and bam, right overnight. Like, the whole thing is, you know what I mean? The Fed is gone. All those trillions of dollars are gone. You know, all that debt is gone. All of these things are fixed overnight. But he can't, he's not going to do that because he hasn't done it and he's not going to do it because, again, the longer we go on through this system, the poorer people get, the more they suffer, the more hungry they're going to get, the more they're going to lose, you know, and it's going to get worse and worse and worse for the people that have the least to lose. Okay, so if he really does care about the people, then why don't you just do it, bro? What's going on? But he's not doing it because, again, he works for the banks. He works for these people. He works for... They all work for, you know what I mean? And again, bro, I'm here to support you. And I hope that, you know, you can make a difference. Yeah, absolutely. And, and again, we're under the petrol dollar. Bro, but, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, yeah, no, I know, I know. Hard. It's going to be hard. Exactly. Um, uh, we're going to wrap this up, I guess, right? So, yeah, sure, man. Go ahead. Man. Yeah, horse. yeah, just for your audience, <laughs> my audience to hear. Uh, again, follow my, uh, my page, uh, www.hernandez2020.com. Uh, you can also donate there, um, anything from a dollar to uh, $500. Because, again, we're not trying to get large money tell donors in our little, campaign. Tell everyone a little bit more about you. you know, plug yeah, back, absolutely. You know, plug so I'm running a progressive campaign. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, I was an independent before, but I had to run Democrat, unfortunately, in my district because uh, nearly 100% of people in my district are Democrats. Uh, so, again, I'm not looking to take corporate PACs, large money donors like Joe Biden or even Donald Trump. So, yeah, if you, you, just, you're uh, you really just want to support the people. And unfortunately, like you said, you have to run as Democrat because uh, that's the only way that you'll be able to get on the ballot, unfortunately, because, you know, um, again, we can go to the store and have a hundred choices for cereal, but we got like right. one choice for president, one choice for Congress. Right? Exactly. So, but yeah, man, Hey, listen, man, um, I'm all, you know, I'm all, on your side and I hope you, uh, you know, make a difference and, uh, do your thing. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on. Yeah. Thank you as well, man. All right. Have a, have a good one and uh, good, see, good talking to you. Yep.